Oh, now then, my friends. Well, I am in the town of Home Firth in Yorkshire, famous for um, Clegg, uh, Foggy, and Nora Batty. And you okay? You probably think I'm missing one person out, but I'm not because that's Compo. Because today we're off to a place called Compos, which is a fish and chip shop, and it's supposed to be absolutely amazing. Let's just hope that it is, and that it's not too greasy, and it doesn't repeat on me as many times as Last of the Summer Wine does on UK Gold. We're going to take a little wander around uh, the town itself because I've not been here for many, many years. We're going to go and have a look at Sid's Cafe and we're going to go and have a look at uh, where Nora Batty's home is as well. And then we're going to take a drive over to Compos because I think it's about half a mile from here. Looking forward to this. The last time I was here was with my dad many, many years ago. So we're going to take a look around. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, to like, subscribe and click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos also if you like the video make sure you hit that thumbs up as well guys now without further ado let's go Right, so over the road here we've got Sid's Cafe. Anybody familiar with the show will recognise this place. As I say, haven't been here for many, many years. Came here with my dad, actually with a video camera. In fact, I've still got the footage, so take a look at this. There you go. Let's see whether it's changed at all. Come on. Right, well, there you go, Sid's Cafe. So I think next we'll take a walk over to where Nora Batty used to live uh, and see where she used to beat Comp off the steps with her broom. Right Yorkshire lass, wasn't she? Come on. So here we are, the home of Nora Batty. The steps over here are the ones where she used to batter Compo. Let's just hope though that the, uh, the batter at Compo's fish and chip shop is as good as Nora Batty was at battering Compo. Come on. something I'd want to read in bed. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. I'd got visions of somebody coming out in wrinkled stockings going, go on with you, get off, get off my steps. Come on, onwards. <laughs> there is actually a couple of fish and chip shops also in the town centre here as well. I've actually been to one uh, as, um, as many, many years ago, as I say, with my dad. Uh, I remember 
but everything back then tasted better. Everything was better when I was younger. Uh, I haven't been to that one, but we are going to go to compost today uh, because that's uh, what this video is about. So come on, onwards. Right, so we'll head back to the car because apparently compost is up the hill over that way. Uh, thanks to Chris, by the way, who I've just bumped into, a viewer of the channel. Hi, Chris, lovely to meet you. Uh, I did ask whether you want to be on the vlog uh, and he said, no, I'm all right, but absolute pleasure uh, to meet you. And he does say, however, he did say to me that compost fish and chips, he's been himself, and he said they are absolutely amazing. Uh, and he said the ones that are in the town centre, sorry if I'm gonna get you into trouble here, Chris, uh, and nothing to write home about the ones in the town centre. Uh, so it might be just worthwhile me hopping in the car and heading up to compost. So come on, I'm excited now. You've made it for me, Chris, I hope, unless you built it up too much, who knows, come on. Oh. Oh. Right, okay, off to Compose. I tell you, it really is a great place to visit uh, and it's cheap as well. I think it's 60p for three hours as well. I put a quid in, uh, so superb. Come and visit it, superb. Anyway, I'm hungry, I'm starving. As I say, Chris, I hope you haven't built this up too much. Come on, onwards. not too far I've put it in the sat nav and it literally says it's less than half a mile so you can walk it if you want but it is uphill personally I'm gonna take the car I tell you in my head it's strange because I've got that music do 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 you get the idea you don't need me singing it uh, I think it's a piece ah here it is Right, here we go, Compo's. It's actually even got a little picture of Compo on the side with his little woolly hat on. Absolutely fantastic. And an absolutely gorgeous view. That's astounding. Of the Yorkshire countryside. Come on. I can smell the fish and chips. Gonna have fish and chips, gonna have mushy peas, gonna have curry sauce. Mark them out of 10, come on. You alright? Can I have um, fish and chips please? One curry sauce and one mushy peas please. Are they small or large? Just small, thank you. Yeah, is it a chip shop or a Chinese curry sauce? Uh, chip shop please. Yeah. Uh, you say card? Yeah. Contact us, thank you. How much is that? 940. 940, one second. Oh, okay. Here we go. Right. So, it all comes to 940. I did ask uh, for a Diet Coke after and that cost me £1.10. A little expensive for a tin of Coke, but uh, 9 40 for fish and chips. I'm going to say that's not too bad. Um, not the worst I've experienced. So we're going to get the peas out there. I'm going to put paper in my pocket. We don't want to be littering. Curry sauce. And then we've got, I'll take the lids off these so you can have a look. Peas look a good colour, not too fluorescent. Let's do the movement of the curry sauce there. Good consistency to it, not too runny. Now the moment of truth, here we go. In fact, I want to put the camera on these and you can take a look at the same time as me. Don't forget, I want you guys to mark them out of 10 as well. You can't taste them, you can't smell them, which is a shame, uh, but you can see them. So uh, I want you to mark it on, uh, on looks. Here goes. Thank you. 
Right, okay, gonna dig into these before it starts raining. Uh, let's have a look, nice and hot. Batter. Let's have a look. A bit of crispiness on the batter. There we go, nice white fish in there, look at that. Mmm. Hey, hang on a minute. That reminds me. Oh, that is reminding me of the fish and the chips. Fish and chips that I used to have when I went with my dad. It's got that taste. Not had that for a while. I've got to say, fish on top of the chips, got chips under there. Try one of the chips. Oh, they're nice. Oh, they're nice. Oh, mmm. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, hey, Chris, who I met in the town centre there. You weren't wrong. Right, peas. Oh, hot. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Have another chip. Dip it in the curry sauce. I can feel the rain coming down a bit. Mmm. Curry sauce, nice and hot, temperature-wise. Very tasty. Right, <clears throat> I'm going to eat these. Come back to you, mark them out of ten, because these are gorgeous. Nice piece of white fish in there. Mmm. Very nice. Right. I'll see you guys in a minute. Start to drizzle. Right, well, <clears throat> I tell you what, <laughs> my word, them, oh, they were amazing. It brought back, it brought back memories of eating fish and chips with my dad and that's the first time that that's really happened because I used to go to the Lake District every weekend and uh, with my mum and dad and we used to pull over to have fish and chips and the fish and chips were always magical uh, in, my, in my mind and they're the fish and chips, I don't know whether it's the, the Yorkshire fresh air, um, it, it's just a beautiful place around here, absolutely stunning. I'll tell you what, they battered that fish uh, better than Nora Batty battered compo with her broom, absolutely superb, really enjoyed them. Peas, very tasty, curry, very tasty, really nice, not too spicy. The fish was nice, the fish had got that, that taste I had when, when I went to the fish and chip shop as a child with mum and dad, really, really enjoyed it. Fantastic day out, I'm gonna say, if you're not from round here, which I'm not, it's worth a trip out, especially if you watch Last of the Summer Wine and you used to watch that, or you watch it on Catch Up on Dave, or UK Gold or whatever it is now, um, Head over to Home Firth, now that's where it was filmed. You can see all the different places, you can go on a little journey. This is the fish and chip shop to come to, Compo's fish and chip shop. I'm gonna mark it, it deserves a 10. That is a 10. It bring a little tear to my eye because it just reminds me uh, of the time that I used to come here with my dad 
absolutely superb. Uh, if you're watching, by the way, well done, Compose, 10 out of 10. You know you deserve it. Superb, really nice. You can come and sit outside here. You've got the, uh, the Yorkshire countryside uh, in the background there. Amazing. Really, really enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Uh, by the way, uh, if you did enjoy the video, do me a favour, just hit the thumbs up. It doesn't cost you a penny. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Go on, get out of here. Go on, off with you. Go on. Can we be going now, sir? Oh, yeah. Follow the MacMaster on Facebook for all the latest news and information and also my whereabouts. Who knows, I could be in your town soon. That's facebook.com forward slash the MacMaster. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Just click my photograph right over there on the right. And also, check out my merchandise. Click on the little cartoon on the left.